Okay guys, we're gonna go over the dead bug. The dead bug, kind of like a beetle on its back or a bug on its back, it's live, it's just kind of kicking. We use this for core stability and to really shrink wrap our spine and stabilize our spine if we have in some, in some, some instability or just trying to build core strength to translate to other movements. So the dead bug, what you're doing here is, the requirement is, like a hollow body, your back has to stay flat on whatever surface you're on. I want a plinth, so the back has to stay flat. So I'm gonna come up. Legs are at a 90, 90 degree, 90 degrees is the hip, 90 degrees is the knee. So we're here, my arms are gonna come straight up as well. So I'm here I'm in this dead bug position. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm, I feel my core engage. I'm having to breathe hard to keep my back flat on the ground. If you ever feel yourself arch in this position, then you've lost it. You need to modify the movement, come back down, scale it back. But here, back is flat on the ground, arms overhead. For a dead bug, one leg is gonna go down and point straight and the opposite arm is gonna come straight up overhead. Okay, back up. I'm contracting my core hard to keep my back flat on the surface, my back's flat on the surface, and I come back up. If you ever feel yourself an arch, we need to modify and back down. Now, how we can modify this is the same type of position, we just decrease the lever. So we're here, touch the bottom, hand overhead, my leg never straightens out. We can modify here. We can even modify to this position here. Keep the back flat on the table, arms overhead, or we can just do simply one leg at a time. We can change it up a lot, modify how you need to, continue to scale back until you make sure the back is flat on the surface for all of the reps that are required.